Hello, Internet. Hello, Sam, and welcome back to After Campfire. You might have noticed I have not beard now, and I have shortish hair now because I got freaking sick of it, and I cut my own hair, so that was weird. I think I did a solid job, but I don't know. I know the back is a little a little bit of a mess. I'll do a little spin preview kind of thing. I don't know what that looked like. Uh... So hopefully it's not awful. Um, it's also been like a week and a half now since I did it, so it should be a little bit less crazy. I don't know. But yeah, having, well, honestly, actually having a beard made me less opposed to having a beard in the future, but like the super long hair and like the beard that was like a bit out of hand was like, to me, a physical, uh, representation of my insanity, not insanity, just frustration and pain with everything going on with the virus and life and stuff sucking. So I'm like, gotta get rid of it. Gotta just like reset my brain by resetting my face, which I think helped though. Now I feel like my hair is too short, but that's fine. I don't care. It's so much more comfortable. Oh my God. I feel like a cleaner human. But anyways, Sam, you had guests on your show because you're at camp. I think you're still at camp. I thought you were going for like a weekend and not for like 15 days or 10 days or something. And I'm jealous. I wish I could go. Ah, oh, man. But um, after you guys posted your video, I did, since then, I have talked to you guys about if I'll go to camp and how that'll work and I still need to talk to Mark again, but it's looking like a pretty likely thing to happen. I don't know because it's complicated because like I'd have to like get the coronavirus test while on my way there. I don't really know, but I actually cannot get the test in Seattle because there is still very short uh, on testing. And I don't even know if that's the case in like New York or Pennsylvania or New Jersey or whatever, but I don't know how any of that's gonna work, so cool. Anyways, uh, Henry's Diary of How to Keep On Being an Adult Person and stuff is I'm trying to maintain sanity by maintaining my hair. Um, but yeah. Um, my question to Sam was basically like, what's going to be different this summer at camp? And I feel like his video was a really good representative of what that'll be, because like, Apparently this summer we're supposed to be social distancing, but in their videos, Sam, Brittany, and Chloe are all just like hanging out real close and that's fine because like, I don't know, I don't know exactly how worried I need to be about people that are our age and younger. So I'll just say 30 and down. Is Brittany 30 now? I don't know. Um, anyways. Um, I think one of the things at camp, um, uh, that might happen this summer that'll be different is we might get a weird, like, political war within camp of people being, like, way too serious and then people being way too nonchalant about this stuff, but I hopefully, hopefully that won't happen. Because I think the, the real big thing that's going to be different this year is that people are going to really value being at camp for the sake of being away from all of this. <laughs> Like, people just want to live in a little happy land and not worry about the world sucking, and I'm hoping that's what we're going to get this summer. Um, I think probably as far as, like, health, like, distancing within camp stuff, that's going to be proven to be next to impossible, because, like, how do you social distance within a cabin or and things like that? But, like, it should be fine, because youth. Youth! But I don't know. Um, but I think... People are going to be a lot more close, a lot less homesick, and just, like, a lot happier to be at camp in general. Like, every now and then you run into kids who are just like, I want to go home. I don't want to be here. Camp's lame. I think that's not really going to happen this year. And I think people are going to be a lot closer this summer because, like, they just know, wow, I really appreciate that I'm able to be here. Even if running camp this summer is not a good idea. I don't know. But life is dumb, and I don't know, and also, as far as who has the virus, who will get the virus, for all I know, I've already had it, and I don't know. 
<laughs> but anyways, Sam asked an interesting question to me um, because it's really weird and difficult for me to answer, um, which was pretty much like, what, and like who's a person that I'm like close to in like a mentor-mentee kind of way? Um, and the thing is, like for one, in Seattle, I am not friends with people young, like that are youths, youths. Almost all of my friends here are older than me. I'm just not in any kind of community here where I deal with someone who would be my mentee. Um, except like, I guess almost trapeze, when trapeze was a thing, there were like a few kids that flew that were like younger than me and wanted to fly like me or whatever. But like anything that I've had in that sense has always been like relationships that I've had at camp way back in the day. Um, but when almost all of those kids have gotten older, like past being a camper, that relationship kind of deteriorates because I am a very childish human. And when people are dealing with becoming an adult, I'm not really the best mentor for people. <laughs> like I was trying to think of a good, I mean, a good answer for this. And like, there's like JJ from Circus or maybe Rachel, you can say, and I, don't think I can't think of anyone where like it continued to apply into the future but maybe that's also just because I haven't been at camp in five years this this I will have skipped four years if I go to the summer and this will be the fifth year um since last leaving um and maybe if I was still there that relationship would have continued like maybe like with Layden also like not being around with when, when Leighton was a senior and like not really like being there as he was growing up. Maybe that would have been different. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm actually kind of curious, Sam, if you have any ideas of who would be a good answer for me, but that's how I kind of feel about it. I kind of feel like I don't have any relationships like that anymore just because they kind of deteriorate, I guess. Also because I'm awkward um, and when I'm at camp, when I was like a third and like senior staff, essentially, I just didn't socialize as much with humans. I don't know. Um, yeah, once I was in more of a leadership position, I feel like I didn't deal with like one-on-one -on -one campers all too often anymore. Um, I think that, all, that a lot has to do with the fact that the things that I'm most skilled at, aside from trapeze, I wasn't really doing as much. Like, I couldn't have a juggling protege or Diablo protege. Well, not di juggling is my best thing, but like Diablo, I didn't have any like Diablo proteges or Poe proteges because I also just wasn't ever teaching that stuff. But yeah, um, it's kind of a weird thing to think about. And it's an interesting I, thing to think about if I go back to camp this summer, when, how will that, will that kind of thing happen? Like if I'm working at Circus with Rachel and Tristan, like, is that how Tristan and Rachel will think of me? I don't know, um, but we'll see. But anyways, the thing that I was wondering about asking you is if I go to camp, I intend to drive across the country, which is gonna be a weird thing to do in this state of, a, like, of everything. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure there are like motels and things that are still existent and I'm sure they will be very happy for my business and ha hopefully that means it'll be cheaper. Um, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be intense. So, Sam, do you have any ideas of what kind of things I should try to do on this road trip? Like, try to go see Mount Rushmore, or like, try to do something silly, like take a picture next to every pink sign I see, or something like that. Any ideas for weird things to do on this trip? And also, let me know if you think I should head out like early so that we could hang out before we go to camp. Or, I'm assuming you're going to camp early, so I should go early too? I don't know. I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.